Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Nick Bunyan posted a video of whether he should buy the PS4 or the Xbox on his channel and I commented on that video but I felt like my... Uh, I didn't have enough room in the comment section just to answer the question because other than PS4 versus Xbox I feel like there's a deeper issue of the new console in general or the new console generation and I'm just gonna post this as a video response to his video and I hope he will accept me to post one because it would, me, would make me very happy. So, first of all, PS4 versus Xbox. What is very important in buying consoles for a lot of people is the exclusive, exclusive titles and I think the Xbox has been very weak from that in the past, uh, except for, of course, the Halo franchise and the Gears of War franchise, which are very important and are, like, especially Gears of War franchise, no, they're both very fun to play with friends, which will be different in the coming console generation, but we'll talk about that later. So, um, and the PS3 in the last generation had a lot of exclusive stuff, which was a lot of fun for me too. This was the reason why I bought the PS3. Um, I bought the Xbox first, but I bought the PS3 later and I bought it because of the exclusive titles, but in the titles that are on both consoles, I was constantly disappointed with the PS3. And I think that's gonna continue in the coming console generation. And the reason for that is that um, Xbox Live costs money for everyone who uses it, 60 bucks a year. And Microsoft uses that money, first of all, to make the experience on xbox live a little more fun or streamlined i feel like the xbox is xbox live is more easy going than uh, ps the P psn because you can uh, get into chats more easily and things like that all the I don't know and join games and it's kind of more stable less lag in my opinion but I guess that varies from game to game. My experience is mostly with Call of Duty. Um, and what is what also comes from them having more money is that they have exclusive rights to, or not exclusive, but they have rights to a lot of things. Like, um, I guess the most prominent is uh, the DLC for Call of Duty. But this doesn't extend to that because you might say, yeah, I can wait a month or something and I don't really like the DLC anyways. But uh, I don't even see a problem with that. But the real problem is that the patches or patches and things in the current generation came out much later for the PS3 than they did for the Xbox. And the reason for that is just that they make more money by, by doing it uh, or by making them. And I, uh, well, you could also argue that maybe Microsoft pays them off so they take more time also in the past generation, the architecture of the of the processors was so different from the two consoles, which made them, which made patches very different, difficult to make for both the Xbox and the PS4. So they had to patch each one separately, and they preferred the Xbox. And I think this is going to continue in the current generation because Microsoft just has more money because they charge for Xbox Live, and. I think you're always going to be on the back burner and what what the shows mostly in is that you have um, games that are developed for the xbox and then ported onto the ps4 which is going to be really annoying because the ps4 might actually have better specs than the xbox but if you develop a game for a certain console and then port it to another it will never run as smoothly on that one so if you don't have a preference in exclusive titles, I would actually um, think you should buy the one that, uh, buy the Xbox because it's more, well, you just get a better experience and you don't get annoyed by so much. Uh, that being said, I wouldn't advise on buying any console at all because um, the problem currently is now that Microsoft and Sony are being very annoying what when it comes to 
DRM and privacy and things like that. Especially, I think what's very dangerous is the Kinect and the Xbox. I don't know how it will go with the PS4, but I think it will be very similar. Um, the Kinect has to always stay on and they monitor what you watch and give you personalized um, commercials for that which I find kind of a breach of my uh, privacy. This might not be such a big deal because, you know, personalized uh, commercials are all over the internet now. You can, if you search anything in Google, you'll get commercials for it if it's something you can buy. Um, that's kind of okay, but I don't really want to have something like that in my living room that's constantly on. Uh, because there, though there's currently no uh, implication of this, they could uh, basically uh, use this in a bad way. And I'm sure someone is going to try to hack the Xbox at some point because just because you have webcams in every living room, which is really bad, I feel like. And um, I don't really think the Xbox or Microsoft really rewards, well, I don't think they treat uh, their customers with, with, the, with respect anymore. And I, what bothers me more with the current consoles is the DRM issue, which has been um, discussed a lot on, online. And um, I feel like, well, the current state is that Xbox will allow you to use your games on other consoles, but yeah, they will charge you for it. And I think that is very annoying because I wouldn't buy half as many, um, I wouldn't buy half as many games if I, or single player games, especially if I couldn't share them with my friends, because we just kind of send each other games when we're done with them. If someone wants them, the other person gets them. and. This is very uncomplicated currently, but this is not going to continue. And also, I feel like if you pay 70 bucks for a single player game when it comes out, uh, I feel like you should be able to sell it. And um, because these single player games often don't have any replay value or very little, and you pay 70 bucks for five hours of fun, which is way too expensive. But if you consider if you can buy uh, you can sell it again it's okay and um i feel like the the pc market is very much more generous in this regard because i may mainly buy my single player games on steam after they're reduced to about half price which usually takes half a year or or something ridiculous like that which is very short time <laughs> um fuck you phone um so I think that's better on PC and that oh, I was about to say that regard again. Um, I feel like it's much more streamlined on PC and you will have a better experience um, playing single player games on the PC than you would on the consoles if you're into that. Uh, and also, yeah, so I kind of think it's a little dangerous to to have uh, uh, constant spying in your in your room. Yeah, so that was basically all I was gonna say. I'm. I don't think we need to talk about the Wii U at all because I think everyone's aware that that is going to not work out for Nintendo, which makes me sad because my first console was a was an N sixty four. And I really like that console, and I'm kind of sad to see Nintendo go down this road. But um, it's just way too finicky. So all in all, I would suggest you not buy a console at all. But if you really feel like buying one, buy an Xbox because you will have a better experience. Even though the PS4 might look cooler. Goodbye. <laughs>